Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, here it is. The Mercedes 300 SLR Unalt Coupe has finally been added to the crew. Been, I've been long awaiting for this, and I just hope the hype, my hyping has uh, paid off, and it's a pretty good car and stuff. There she is. Let's take a look at the full stock version real quick first before uh, we go customizing this with spec. Oh god. Oh god. They failed. It's got a hot rod engine sound in it. Sounds nothing like the, S uh, the 300 SLR. The interior is actually really, really good. I like how well they did with it. Looks very nice. The car overall looks pretty darn nice. As you can see, it says the crew on the license plate. The little side exhaust look pretty darn cool as well. Overall, look, it looks like a pretty good model. Overall, on the surface, in terms of full stock. And now we're going to customize it for Perspec. Perspec uh, is going to be hopefully pretty cool. Hopefully there'll be at least some kind of customization for this bad boy. Oh, I can see the drum brakes when it just came out. And it's got a horrible engine. Uh, I, was, I was kind of expecting that. I was expecting that this thing would not have a realistic rendered engine. In fact, I'll actually pop it up on the screen later on in the video while I'm customi uh, customizing the performance of the car because you don't really need to see that. Rims, there's two rim options available. And everything else, there's no customization for it. No, nothing. Which is kind of good because otherwise somebody would pro probably be stupid and put a big wing on the back. Of course, stickers. There's the new... Uh, for, uh, I believe that's the Far Cry stickers. I don't remember what they were. Yeah, these are the Far Cry, Far Cry stickers that they added in this patch as well. Also, we got a little bit of a hinted patch as well later on. We got the Nissan 240SX coming in, hinted at uh, in the patch notes. And uh, I'll show you right now what the engine looks like on the real live Unalt Coupe. As you can see, this is a V12 engine on this car right now. But uh, here's a picture right now on the screen showing you the real engine of the uh, Unalt Coupe. And it looks pretty darn cool. Just doing a fairly basic setup, acceleration bonus parts, a couple of grip bonus parts, stuff like that. In fact, uh, as you can see, the, the braking stats are actually really, really low on this thing. I might actually go back later and uh, put a couple of braking bonus parts on this thing because the brakes are pretty bad on this car. I actually drove it in PvP a few minutes ago. And the brakes are pretty pretty horrendous, but I managed to actually get second place with my uh, Uno, Unalt Coupe. Dang, that red interior is cool. And those exhausts. Really cool. I'm not a fan of that engine sound. They, what they could have done is they could have put the SLS AMG engine sound and uh, given it a bit m uh, more of a, I believe, a lower pitch to the engine. And uh, that would, of course, uh, also add a little bit of bass to it to make it sound just a bit better and more realistic. But nope. They had to put the hot rod engine in this thing. It sounds like a freaking NASCAR V engine is swapped in this thing. But I, I guess I can't complain. It's a nice car to, just to drive. But like I said, the brakes are kind of bad. You gotta really, really think in advance about the brakes. And I lost a little control because I haven't. This is the first time I've driven it. Overall, this car is actually pretty easy to control. I've noticed that a lot of the newer cars coming in, like the, the Stingray, had really good handling. This thing has pretty darn good handling. And of course, it actually drifts a, quite, a, quite a bit if you pull a handbrake. And it only drifts in second gear. By the way, this thing has five gears, and they're pretty long gears. So, um, yeah. Of course, somebody's beeping outside in my neighborhood. So, yeah. Overall, I like this thing. This thing's pretty nice. But, like I said, I don't like the engine sound. Uh, there's the interior. The interior is actually really, really cool. I like the little mirror up on top of there. I like just the, inter the interior is simple, but it's so retro and so cool at the same time. And it's got this uh, ship style steering wheel in the middle with four spokes. It, uh, it's really cool, this car. They did a good job rendering this thing. Has no reverse lights, but yeah, it's cool. It doesn't do a burnout, which is kind of sad, but then again, quite a bit of perspect cars don't do burnouts. And so now we are doing Absorbatory Dash with the 300 SLR. 
And let's see how well this thing does. Now, I saw that the uh, acceleration stat's actually pretty darn good for this class. If uh, an the acceleration stat's over 9,000, haha, <laughs> over 9,000, then uh, it will be a pretty good car. Of course, it's got good grip, it's got pretty good top speed, but the brakes are kind of bad. So, you kind of have to brake early with this car, and that's where uh, the, the, car the cars that are better in terms of uh, braking, like the Stingray or the 458 or whatever, are going to catch up because of the their uh, overpowered braking. I mean, it's kind of realistic because this thing actually has drum brakes. The drum brakes are not very, very good. Uh, in today's standard because the disc, br disc brakes are really powerful. But they rendered that pretty realistically, but keep in mind this is actually a perspex, so it should have better braking capability and it should have uh, upgraded disc brakes instead of the uh, the drum brakes. But I'm not complaining. This is a nice cruising car. It's not very useful for doing uh, PvP events or... Mm, well, faction missions, you can play faction missions with your friends, but you just gotta be aware of the fact that the brakes are not gonna be as good as some of the other supercars so they should probably take a yeah, car that doesn't have upgraded braking or whatever or you could uh, put braking bonus parts on this thing to make it just a bit better but I don't recommend doing that because it doesn't really change much on the on it as far as I've seen but overall this is a good this is a, n a nice car if you have the season pass then that's good you saved yourself some money but if you don't have the season pass don't bother uh, wasting your crew credits on this thing because there's going to be better cars coming in, coming in like the 240SX, the Cadillac Eldorado, which was also hinted at in uh, this update. They actually put it in the README file for the uh, update. If you open up the README file in support, you'll see that it says uh, Nissan 240Z. Oh wait, did I say, if I said 240SX, then it's actually, I'm wrong, it's 240Z, which is basically the great-grandfather of the Nissan 370Z. So yeah, of course the uh, Eldorado. I'm thinking that we're gonna get the older version of the Eldorado, because why would you need a newer version of the Eldorado? Because the newer version of the Eldorado is basically a battleship. It's huge. But the older Eldorado is actually pointy and vintage, and it looks really, really cool. So I, I'm thinking that this, this is gonna be kind of like a vintage pack. By the way, um, Natachi, I don't know exactly how to pronounce his username. Uh, Natachi, I believe it is. Natachi Ubisoft uh, responded to people talking about the um, the Nissan 240Z and the uh, Cadillac Eldorado being uh, hint, um, accidentally leaked in the update, and they said more information. He said more information is going to be added about these cars later. So that means, of course, they said on their Twitter page as well that this they are they're going to add some more information about them because this car has actually been mentioned earlier than those two new cars that we've seen so far. So I'm quite excited to see the uh, 240Z come into the game because the 240Z is a is a is the grandfather of all the Nissan Z spec cars, and it'd be really cool to have that thing come in because the Nissan 370Z needs uh, an older rival. The Skyline doesn't cut it because the Skyline's in a com in a completely different class compared to the Z, the Nissan 370Z. So yeah. Okay, I'm going a little off track, but back on to this thing. I really, really like this thing, but it's not my favorite car. It hasn't, uh, it hasn't won me over. I like, I like driving it. It's just a nice car because it teaches you how to, uh, how to even use brakes properly and use racing lines. And uh, it's a challenge, let's just say, especially when you're using PvP. Uh, winning with this car is actually a really, really big challenge. Like I said. It actually works pretty darn well with crown mode, with the perspec crown mode. It works well with it because it's got good acceleration, it's got a good top speed, it's got very, very good handling. But uh, if there's a law Ferrari in the lobby, then you're going to have a little bit of uh, trouble. So yeah, coming up to the end of this race, I'll also do a little bit of a drifting fest with this thing. Just to kind of try it out to see exactly how it is in that jump though. So I'm actually surprised that this came in, not the 300 SL. The 300 SLR is actually, this is the first time the coupe version of the 300 SLR has actually been featured in a racing game, if I forgot to mention that. Which is really, really cool. And now a little bit of a drifting fest. As you can see, you're going to be drifting in second gear with this thing. And even though this thing has long gears, it actually helps a lot with the drifting. It's a little bit slow in terms of drifting. You're going to be doing like 60 miles per hour while drifting. Because you're going to be basically stuck in second gear the entire time. I messed up a little bit, but this thing is actually really, really easy to drift. 
surprisingly. So I guess you, you, you could use this as a drifting car, but like I said, the brakes are not the best, so you're going to have to get used to braking early with this thing if you're going to use it as a drift car. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Give the video a like and stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe